My name is Bunny McDiamond and I'm one of two women who are the executive directors of Greenpeace International. What worries me the most is the inaction of governments and companies to make the changes we need for climate change as fast as possible. No. No. No, governments are not. And actually, governments know they are not doing enough. Okay. And that is why thousands and thousands and thousands of school children are marching in the street. Yeah. Because they want a future that they don't think governments are going to be able to mm -hmm. do. We need to move away from fossil fuels, okay. from coal, from oil, from gas, from nuclear. Mm -hmm. And we need to really speed up the uptake of renewable energy. Mm -hmm. So we have the technology. It's not, we know what the solutions are. Mm -hmm. The political will to make them happen is not there. The children are the only adults in the room. <laughs> yes. So, okay. and I find that kind of heartbreaking that not mothers, fathers, uncles, aunts, leaders are not doing mm -hmm. what needs to be done. And children understand, school children understand climate scientists. No, it's not enough. We need action now. Everybody, all governments know what the scientists are telling us. Mm -hmm. The scientists also laid out a pathway of how we can get there. Mm -hmm. to one, so we do not go above an increase of 1.5 degrees. We stopped nuclear testing. Mm -hmm. We got, repaired our ozone layer. Yeah. We've done many things that environmentalists or people believed could be done and could be done differently. I think there's far more activism now mm -hmm. than there was. And yeah. I think there's far more awareness mm -hmm. and there's far more possibility to connect mm -hmm. with others because of the change in communications, because of the internet. We need more women in leadership. There's too mm -hmm. few women in leadership. Mm -hmm. And all the research will tell you when there is women in equal partnership at the table, their outcomes will be better. Greenpeace was involved in developing a green freeze fridge in oh, the 90, yeah. early 1990s, okay. when we needed to get rid of all the um, HFCs that were, gases that were in refrigerators that uh -huh. were destroying yeah. the ozone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. and pe people said then it can't be done. Mm -hmm. So Greenpeace produced a refrigerator uh -huh. that was called Green Freeze, uh -huh. and now and, and and then it took off. So I think there's technical in innovation, but there's also um, changing mindsets, changing mm -hmm. the way we think about what's possible in the world. Support the school kids mm -hmm. who are out on the streets demanding change. Mm -hmm. Look at where you're getting your energy from. Mm -hmm. if it's renewable or not. Demand that you have access to renewable energy. Mm -hmm. There's a whole range of small things that many groups in your area will have mm -hmm. that you can do as well. Mm -hmm. But I think the most important thing at the moment is to pressure your government okay. and also companies to take action. Mm -hmm.